How is everybody doing? Good. Oh, come on. How is everybody doing? Good. <clears throat> fantastic, fantastic. My name is James Harris, and I am the author of Corey's Courtroom. You guys know about Corey? Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he's my friend, so I'm going to let you guys, uh, I'm going to let him tell you a little bit more about himself and how he became a judge. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to direct you guys' eyes to the screen. Hi, I'm Judge Corey. Welcome to my courtroom. I'm happy you came. How did you become a judge? How did I become a judge? Good question. Well, I always wanted to be a judge, like my dad, but didn't know how. So now, when I go into the family barn, I use my great imagination, and the barn magically turns into my courtroom. The foreign animals tell me their problems, and I tell them what to do or who should say I'm sorry. Pretty cool, huh? Who are they? Oh, that's just Bailiff Ben. Sebastian, my magic spoon, and my barnyard book of rules. Can I come by? Sure, you can come by anytime. Bailiff Ben, before court is in session, take it away. Bring your problems to Judge Coy, no matter the size. When you do, you will be smart and wise. Bailiff Ben and Sebastian are his guys. When you come into his courtroom, everybody please rise. <laughs> so just so you know, this is Bailiff Ben. Say hi, Bailiff Ben. Hi, Bailiff Ben. And this is Sebastian, his magic spoon. He talks to him during court. So today... <clears throat> I wrote a very special story about, for Corey's courtroom, it's called Deeper Than Our Skins. You guys ever heard of that before? No. Deeper Than Our no. Skins? No. Because we're all, we're all different colors, right? Yeah. And we, but we all have the same things inside ourselves. We see, all have the same hearts, the same feelings. Yeah. And uh, this is a story about um, some horses. And are they, all, are, they, are they all the same? No. So one's different, right? Which one's different? Which one? This one? Yeah, he's, he's different than all the other color ones, huh? His name is Zabi. His name is Zabi. And he's from, he's from another country. Okay? And so we're going to hear about how come they don't like him for no other reason but just for the color of his skin. Is that right? No, that's not right, huh? Oh, yeah, no, that's not right. That's not right huh? We don't like them just because it's cut our skin. I already know how, but... You already know how? Okay. So this story, I wrote it just for you guys. It's called Just Horsing Around. Kind of cool, huh? All right. Here we go. Horses from around the country came to Middleton to battle in the Just Horsing Around Challenge. Here, they, can, they compete in events like the Saddle Up, this test, which horse can put the saddle on the fastest? The romp around test, the quickest steed sprinting from barrel to barrel, and a lot of other fun, fun events. But the coolest event in the, but the coolest event is the mud, water mud run. This is where horses run through thick mud and deep water before crowning a champion. Let's kind of see what that looks like. Oh, you guys see the saddle up? You're putting on saddles, huh? You see the romp, romping around? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And the coolest one is the what? The one when they run in the mud. Who would like to run through the mud? <laughs> Him. Him, he's running through the mud? Okay. And the white one. Okay, so the white one's running through the mud? Yeah. Okay, okay, all right. There's a okay. You see, you see him too up there? Yeah. Okay, he's running around the barrels too, huh? Okay, very good, very good. Okay, last year's winner was Gino, the gray stallion. Is Gino over here? He's a, he's a gray horse, huh? Okay, he was last year's winner. Okay, okay we're going to talk about them in just a minute. Last year's winner was Gino, the gray stallion. He was still wearing his first place medal around his neck. Gino's coat was a beautiful dark gray. He believed just because he was gray and all of his other friends were gray and different colors, they should win. However, this year's 
This year, different colored horses from all over the country entered the tournament. There were brown, palomino, white, spotted, black, and even a zebra named Zabi. Where's, where's Zabi at? Okay, you see Zabi right there? Okay. Yeah, because he's not, he's, not he's not from Middleton. He's from someplace else. The lunch bell rang when the contestant trotted over to the all-you-can-eat corral cafe buffet. Zabi heard you could eat as much honey, hay, or oats your stomach could hold. Then wash it down with ice-cold apple or carrot juice. Mmm. For dessert, they had large cubes of sugar. Zabi couldn't wait. Gino and his pony's pals were in front of the line, the lunch line, when he noticed Zabi and the other horses holding their trays. Gino turned to Zabi and said, and you guys tell me if this is good, all right? You're not from around here, are you? Where did you come from? You don't look like anyone here. The other horses start to laugh and say, yeah, you don't. Let's see what that looks like. Oh. Was that right? No. How come? Because, because he's still a horse and you should respect other people. Hey, give it up. Give it up. <laughs> give it up. I couldn't have said it better myself. He said, you're still a horse and you need to respect other people, huh? And it really, and it really doesn't matter what color you are, huh? Oh, those are all okay. Colors. Well, let's, let's hear what he says. This is what he said to him. He said, you don't look like anyone here. The other horses start to laugh, and they said, yeah, you don't. Was that mean? Yeah, that's okay. mean. Gino said, what are you? Are you black with white stripes, or are you white with black stripes? White with black stripes. You sure? I'm not sure, I'm not sure if he's white with black stripes. or I don't know. This is what, this is what Gino said. This, this is what Gino said. You look mixed up and confused to me. We don't like your kind around here. Zabi folded his arms and said, what kind is that? Gino said, you're different. Your coat is, di is a different color and your background is different. You also eat different kinds of food. You know, different. So what? I know, so what, huh? What we say around here is, and this is what Gino said. You guys tell me this is right. This is what Gino the gray horse said. If you're not homegrown, you should leave us alone. He glared at Zabi and the rest of the ponies. Zabi stared angrily when Gino said, Zabi, there's no need to frown. I'm just horsing around. Then he bumped Zabi with his tail, causing him to spill his carrot juice when he trotted away. The other horses again started to laugh. Was that right? No. No, no. Miss Christie was a beautiful swan and a farm librarian. She's a tall swan with a long neck and kind smile. Her cowboy hat sat on her top of her head. She wore a bright yellow apron that said in black letters, Liberia's do it by the book. Everyone called her Mrs. C. She was, she was eating lunch and couldn't believe what she heard when she heard Gino and his pat, pony pal say in line. Miss C went to Gino's table and said, I want, to tell, I want you and your friends to meet me in Corey's courtroom before the next event. She turned to Zabi and said, I would like for you to meet me there too. Let's see what that looks like. So what, what were they doing? They were sitting down, and then the, apparently a chicken told them to, <laughs> to tell them where the court was. Close, a bird, but that's Mrs. C. She's a swan. And she heard them talking about Zabi, and she didn't like that. Because they were talking about they didn't like him just because of, the color of, his, of, of his coat, of his skin. And so what, what she said was, you know what? I think this needs to go to Corey's courtroom. See Corey up there? Yeah, yeah. See, you see their, their faces? They're all surprised. Because what, what's that what's that called is gossiping. gossiping. He was gossiping. They were all talking about him. Was that, was that right? No. Well, how about, how about when you guys are at your um, recesses or your lunch? Yeah. Do you guys all sit together and maybe talk about people sometime? No. No, we don't, huh? That's not nice. That's just bullying. That's bullying too, huh? Well, that's good that we got you guys on tape. That's excellent. Okay. Okay, so let's, let's, see, let's see what happens. Gino said, sure, I didn't do anything wrong. Zabi said, why me? I didn't say anything. But then he said, okay. So was Gino right? Did Gino do anything wrong? She did. Yeah, Gino did something wrong. He was like talking about him, huh? Yeah, okay. Corey, Bailiff, Ben, and Sebastian were talking together when Miss C marched Gino and Zabi into the courtroom. Bailiff Ben said... Bring your problem to Judge Corey, no matter the size. 
Welcome to Corey's courtroom. And then Sebastian said, and will everyone please rise? Corey loved the horsing around competition. The best events were always after lunch. He thought Gino and Zabi would be warming up for the next race, not sitting in the court. He grinned at Miss C and waved her to come into his crate. Miss C took a deep breath and said, Your Honor, I was upset with what I heard from Gino and his friends. Gino said, just because Zabi wasn't born or grew up in Middleton, he wasn't welcome. Is that, is that, is that good? No. So do you have to be born somewhere in order to be welcome? No. No, no. All Gino talked about is Zabi's differences. But nothing about how they are alike. Because we're different, right? Yeah. But we got a lot of stuff that's alike, huh? Uh huh. Yeah, like what? Like, like, um. Like what? Huh? We're all, we're all people. Very good. Just like we're all horses, huh? Okay. How about we all have a heart? Yeah. We all have a heart. We all have souls. We all got voices. We yeah. Well, let me ask you this. Do we all have hair? No, no we don't all have hair. Huh? Well, that's okay. That's okay. We don't, we don't all have to have hair. But uh, I had hair at one time, but that's all right. I know. Okay. I Are you doing that? I hair one time, <laughs> but they say stuff. Okay, let's see what's uh, the rest of the story. Corey was not pleased with... Um, okay, he said, all, all Gino talked about is Zabi's differences, but nothing how they were like. But I have to admit, Zabi, Zabi kept his cool. So I bought Gino by today because I believe this is a teaching moment for him. Also, I want Zabi to see we're not all like Gino in Middleton. Corey was not pleased with what Miss C told him. But in his courtroom, everyone gets a chance to say a side of the story. Corey said, well, Gino, what happened? Gino said, Your Honor, it's true what I said. But I'm not the only one who thinks this way. But I'm the only one who will say it. Ooh. Is that true? Is that good? No. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> Corey was really upset that Gino didn't understand how important it is to be tolerant of others who are different than, her, than themselves. He asked Zabi to trot to his crate. crate. Zabi, how, Zabi, how do you feel about what Gino, what Gino believes? What do, you guys, what, what do you guys think what Gino believes? How do you, how do you think, how do you think G, uh, Zabi feels? How do you think Zabi feels? You think Zabi feels bad because he's talking about him just because yeah. he's, he's a different color, huh? Yeah. Okay. He must feel horrible now. He must feel horrible now, huh? Okay. Let's, let's listen to what Zabi says. Zabi said, well, at first I was angry, but Miss C is right. This is a teaching moment. Zabi turned to Gino and said, Gino, where I come from, once a year I migrate with my friends to the blue, with the blue wildebeest and antelope in search of the best game and athletes around the country. I was told you were the best in Middleton, so I came to compete against you fair and square. But in the lunch line, you started saying things like I didn't belong because of the color of my coat and my background. Gino, I'm proud of my color and where I come from. We should all be proud of our colors, right? And where we come from? Yes. We should, huh? Okay. My friends back home look different. Our food, background, and faces may not be the same, but we all live together and play games. We all may come from a different place, but we're all horses running the same race. Is that true? Yep. Yeah, we're all horses running the same race, huh? Because they're all, they're all running the same race over there, huh? Yep. Okay. My mother, my mother once told me that green, blue, purple, yellow, orange, and red are different colors, but together they make a rainbow. So, Gino, if we're all horses but just different colors, what's the problem with this? What's the problem? And he had his hands in his air, in the air. Gino didn't have an answer, and, he, and Gino's starting to feel a little bad now. This was the first time Corey wasn't sure about a case. Corey said, everybody, I'll be right back. He ran to speak to his father, who was working on a case at home. He said, Dad, did you know that some animals don't like other animals just because of the color of their coats or where they come from? Corey looked, um, Corey looked puzzled. Corey's father Understanding what Corey was asking him, looked down and said, no, that's not right. Son, we have to make sure we don't participate, but we educate. Corey said, oh, I get it now. Corey ran back to the barn, jumped in the seat, and, sat in, and, and said, this is a case of, it's not just horsing around, putting others down. Corey said, Gino, most of us aren't really homegrown. 
we all come from someplace else to find a home. Whether you're new or native to this land, we must all work together hand in hand. Is that true? Yeah. Yeah. Gino looked around at the other horses that followed them into the barn. He felt bad that he didn't like Zabi because he was different. He said, Zabi, I'm sorry for not liking you because of the color of your coat. I feel like a dope. Let's get back to the last event and may the best horse win. Zabi said, yeah, let's go. But before they left, Sebastian asked Gino, what lesson did you learn to help others? What do you think he said? What lessons was learned? That you shouldn't, you shouldn't respect other people, even if they have different skin. That you should, that you parents. should respect other people. You should respect. You should respect. <laughs> and not disrespect people. Amen, amen. Gino said, Gino, this is what Gino said, because I think he learned his lesson. Mm -hmm. Gino said, on the outside, we're all unique, but inside, we're the same. To treat anyone differently is a shame. Tolerance of others should be our aim. Sebastian said, wonderful. Corey winked at Mrs. C and said, I think Gino finally gets it. Okay, everyone, it's time to get back to the contest. Corey said, course adjourned. See you next time. It's Corey's courtroom. And let me see what they look like. So it's just like that. Yeah. And so what do you guys see here? Everybody's different colors, right? Everybody's different colors. But every but they're friends, huh? And everybody's getting along? Is anybody frowning? No. Is everybody happy? Yes. And that's what we should be. And so when you're with people that are different colors than you or look different than you, some have hair, some have don't hair, some are fat, some are skinny, but we're all the same inside. Is that right? Yep. And so now they like Zavi. Any questions before, uh, before we go on to the, to the next activity? Any questions? How'd you guys like the story? Yeah, I like Zavi. I like that. Okay, I, I want, um, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna try to get some, uh, a picture like this. Let me ask you guys something. Who looks like, who looks like this horse? Okay, come stand up here. Stand, stand right there. Okay, who looks, who looks like this horse? Okay, you got, you, you, you got to turn around, turn around, turn around. Yeah, turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around. Okay, who looks, who looks like this one? Who has this color? Who has this color? You have that color right? Come on up. Okay. Who has... Okay, I'll be, I'll be this one. I'll, I'm the darker one. Okay. Who looks like this color? Come on up. Come on, we're all different, but we're all the same, right? Okay, we're going to turn on... We're going to take a picture. Okay. Come on. Come on. Because... Come on up. You want to come? Okay, okay we're going to take a picture because we're all, we're all deeper than our, deeper than our skins.